Hey folks, JP here. I'm um, in uh, Algiers, Louisiana, and we got contacted by uh, an apartment complex, and they're doing some construction work. Uh, there's a, uh, a porch uh, that extends out uh, off the second floor of this apartment complex, and uh, they had some issues with rod and things like that, and uh, they start uh, ripping the, the porch apart and came across a beehive. Uh, most of the combs were thrown on the ground. I think that occurred yesterday and it's full of small high beetles so none of that comb is usable. Basically uh, took one comb section that was left uh, attached to the underside of the porch, uh, rubber banded to my frame, put it in the center of the hive. I got some lemongrass all sent in the hive so I got some bees orienting. They're checking it out right now so we just need to get the main cluster to move. If not I'll have to uh, go ahead and uh, just start grabbing handfuls, I guess, and see if we can't get queening and, and put her in and, uh, you know, get them going in the right direction. So I'm going to show you what this looks like now. As you can see, there's not much left of this porch. And this is the end where the bees are. And uh, I have a high box up here. show you. All right, this is the wreckage <laughs> underneath here. And uh, this piece of plywood right here little thin piece of plywood. I'm sure it was probably the seal in this porch. There was a bunch of comb underneath it amongst that concrete rubble. And these are the comb sections that are pulled out. And they were just full up with small high beetles. And as you can see, I smushed every one that I could. <laughs> it was These are all small high beetles right here. Okay, I smushed them suckers. And, uh, this, I'm sure they, the survivors ran over to the comb here. You can see them. Nasty things. So we're gonna we're gonna bag this up. And at one time, this was a pretty decent hive. Let me give you all a little different perspective here. So there it is. You can see that wood was pretty rotted. All right, I, I smoked them from underneath a pretty good bit. And uh, we got them rolling, so they're on the edge of the bottom board, as you can see. I'm hoping they'll they'll run in. I might have to smoke them a little bit more in, in a minute, but I had them moving that way. I'm going to hit them again. So we can't drive them in. See what we got. So of course, some of them are running underneath. <laughs> All right, let's see what they're going to do. I'd say it's looking pretty good at this point. Oh, I can smell them fanning too. They have to get back underneath. Give them one or two more little puffs. Right, that was more than a few puffs. <laughs> Granted. Got to get them moving though. Let's see what we got. Kind of more of the same. It's starting to run in there pretty good now. Kind of going on this column too. They're rolling now. I would say they look pretty committed at this point. All right. Uh, we're pretty much close to a march at this point. <laughs> I just smoked them a couple more times. Definitely have some running in. Well, I just smoked them. Hopefully, the last time. And they're really they're running in now. So this is looking good.
I had to remove some more comb that was attached to the uh, underside of this porch and uh, the bees were kind of hanging on to it. So I smoked them and removed a couple of them little pieces and just having to be real aggressive with them with the smoke. And uh, looks like they're running in pretty good now. You know, some of them are still wanting to cluster underneath and I just have to smoke them a little bit and I'll run more out and then run a little bit more out and I'm um, just picking at them so slowly but surely <laughs> they're gonna make this this deep their new home <laughs> I'll see to it all right folks so if they have a queen she's in the box because there's nothing underneath so looks like we we got them all in there so uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Another one brought to you by JP the B-Man. Y'all have a good day.